Hello, Astro Kids. How are you today? So, I'm sorry it's taking so long to do your chart. I am going to finish this up. So, going back to where we were, you have Venus conjunct the Sun in Virgo. And Venus is dealing with the things that you love, the things that you value, the things that you attract. This is all about where the devotion of your time and your energy is going. And so being with the sun, this puts this emphasis on loving and attracting the things that truly you value on a soul level. This really intertwines with your soul's desires. And having Venus in your seventh house as well highlights how this love is shown in relationships. You are very good at showing and being affectionate within partnerships or relationships. And normally, this would be a very challenging placement to have Venus in Virgo. But again, having it conjunct the sun in the seventh house really puts this big emphasis on being loving and compassionate in relationships. Now, that being said, with Venus in Virgo, this is the fall position. So, in a sense, Venus is asleep here. Venus feels powerless here. And so, it's almost as if this is a challenging area for you to accept love as it is. There's almost like there is this very, this feeling of wanting things to be a certain way and this feeling of being very critical and analytical and able to pick up on various details, which kind of puts a challenge on this ability to receive and accept love as it is. Because there is this very intellectual, detailed approach here. So it does sort of put this energy asleep. But again, this is a very great position to have Venus conjunct the sun in the seventh house. There is this emphasis and focus on partnerships and relationships. And as we move on, we have Mercury also in your seventh house which adds to this element of learning and communicating through relating to others. And having it in Libra as well is adding to how you communicate in relationships. This gives a very harmonious intellectual way of communicating. It is not as at home as it would be in Gemini, but it is coming from less of a logical place as it would be in Gemini and more of a very loving and harmonious, balanced type of approach. And as far as the way that you learn and communicate, it's a natural give and take. There has to be some sort of sense of fairness or balance in it. And also you have the 8th house in Libra, 